The London Printer Show with Michelle Carter. Welcome to another episode of The London Printer Show. We're wrapping up to 100 episodes. Today's guest is Mike Bloxham, and he owns SunTap Technologies. Welcome, Mike. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. So, what gets you out of bed in the morning? Um, well, I guess the, uh, the desire to uh, get out there and have people generate clean energy for their homes and their businesses. That's, uh, it's a passion I've had for a long time. Um, when did you decide to start your own business? Uh, well, I was, let's say, somewhat forced into it in 2009. Okay. Um, I used to work for a solar uh, manufacturing company, um, and uh, they they went through a couple rounds of downsizing in 2008 yeah. and 2009 uh, during the recession. Yeah. Um, so I was let go in the second round in 2009, and mm -hmm. uh, it was very difficult to find a job in London at the time. Um, I had a, a computer science background, but I'd been hired on to do um, a, a bit of programming work, but I also got roped into doing some product development work. So I really got to get into the So you didn't find bolts. any jobs out there you liked, so you mm, created your own. There was nothing in IT. I thought I was going to stick to IT, so then I thought, well, I've got all this solar knowledge. Yeah. Let's explore uh, doing solar energy. So I, uh, with a partner, started... Uh, Sun tap in 2009. Um, he'd been let go in the previous downsizing round okay. from me, and um, and we we started uh, up the business. Went through a program at the small business center uh, that was funded by the Ontario and federal governments. The self employment benefit program. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I love that program. I went to the same one. Yeah, yeah. Just I, recently, it was uh, it was extremely helpful. It uh, is. It gave us a lot of information and knowledge, and uh, the 42 weeks of extra. EI benefits also Yes, <laughs> and I'm so disappointed that they discontinued that yes. program. Yeah, I was... Hopefully I was, they'll bring it back. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, it was unfortunate news to hear it was ended, but... Um, so did your partner anyway. also join the program as well? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we both went through it together, um, mm -hmm. and uh, he had to leave in 2012 uh, for personal reasons, so I've carried on the business since then for the last uh, three years, I guess, so... Um, so yeah, SunTap so. Technologies, what um, business are you... Offering services or products or both? Uh, well, both. Okay. Uh, primarily, we install uh, solar energy equipment for people to heat their swimming pool, uh, generate hot water in their home, or okay. uh, generate electricity. Um, we also have uh, solar lighting solutions, so from garden lights up to uh, street lamp style solar lights. And, yeah. And... Um, uh, electric vehicle charging stations. We okay. install those as well. So, are there many of those in London yet? Uh, there are a few. Really? Uh, we've installed a few of the residential ones, mm -hmm. um, and there there are quite a few commercial ones in the downtown core. Are um, there? It'd be nice to see them expand throughout the city. Or publicized as, a little uh, bit more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. There's one over at the Budweiser Gardens parking lot. Okay. Um, and there's uh, there used to be one at the Covent Garden Market, but. It wasn't getting much use, so they took it out. Unfortunately, City Hall has one. Oh, well, they do. Um, yeah, very good. Yeah, so it's uh, it, it that's becoming more popular as electric vehicles become more popular. But mm -hmm. our core focus is solar energy for uh, for residential and commercial um, applications, and we also do service on on systems that have been either uh, let's say orphaned because they're uh, the installer's no longer around, or they're from far enough away that they uh, they don't want to come down for a simple service job so we so you do it all we yeah we do, yeah <laughs> if, it, if it's related to solar energy we uh we're into it <laughs> and i also run your website that you can generate money from solar energy is that real yes yeah and how much money can you make doing well, that <laughs> um for the average uh homeowner they could generate about five thousand dollars a year in income for a uh roughly thirty five thousand dollar upfront Costs. So in about seven years, they can have okay. their money back, and it's a twenty-year contract with uh, with the hydro company. Oh wow! So basically, so you invest the first seven, and, and then you then, start making money yep, after that. And you make thirteen years of pure income. It's a good after investment. That. It's a very good investment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how does that set up? Is it solar panels on your home, on your roof? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's the rooftop. Uh, they call it the micro fit program, which is fit stands for feed in tariff. Okay. So that's uh, that's selling all the electricity that you generate from the system into the grid, mm -hmm. and then you keep buying your electricity as you normally do. Yeah. And 
and like I said, over the over the year, you'll make about five grand, and then that'll pay down pay your initial investment. And uh, once it's paid off, it's like having a tenant on the roof. It's uh, yeah, <laughs> they're constantly. You don't have to paying. clean up after though. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's a, they're, they're clean. They're quiet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're never going anywhere for twenty mm -hmm. years. <laughs> so you might just get a flood of calls now. People wanting to invest in this. Yeah, well, you I, can I handle that. It. Yeah, <laughs> good. So how many is on your team now? Uh, in the winter time, we, we scale down a bit because we're not doing as many installations. So yeah. uh, we fluctuate between about uh, three to four guys in the summer to uh, one or two part-time with me in the winter. Okay. So just to keep up with, with sales leads and uh, and help out with um, any marketing uh, endeavors we might be okay. into at this time of year. So what are you trying in marketing right now? Uh, well, we're... Uh, just kind of wrapped up our installation season a couple of weeks ago, so I'm trying to just take a little break and figure out where things are at. Um, we we do uh, a lot of the home shows mm -hmm. and uh, try to go to local um, local festivals that happen in in communities or or with um, uh, like the car free. Car, well, it used to be called Car Free Day. Now it's called the Dundas Street Festival. We yes. used to do that one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we you do, do a lot the, of the look in festival. person. Like, yeah, we, we try marketing. to get there face to face to, to reach out to people because print advertising, sorry to any printers out there, but doesn't always work as effectively as. Uh, not that you've as, experienced anyway. Uh, not not through our experience. Yeah, yeah. we we've done we've tried print advertising and it. Uh, let's say we broke even, but didn't get ahead. Yeah, but print but, for some other people just works phenomenally. It's it just, does depend on the industry. It's a complete experiment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I find I find face-to-face uh, -face networking groups work really well. Mm -hmm. um, web advertising has been great for us. Oh. So I'm going to be looking at what uh, differences we might want to do this year. What type of web advertising uh, do you try? Well, a lot like Google AdWords and, okay. and that sort of thing. because Facebook ads, people, yeah? Uh, yeah, last year we did some did Facebook you? ads, yeah. And how did that turn um, out? It didn't really generate no? much, unfortunately. Maybe I have to look at retargeting, but <laughs> or if there's okay. any SEO consultants out there, I'd be happy to hear from them. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> um, it, uh, yeah, we, tr we tried different things, and uh, some work, some don't, but... Is there anything I, else? I, I find a lot of people find us just Googling us, so that's why the Google AdWords was, mm -hmm. was helpful, but... Yeah, sorry. I'm Very good. So what other things may be you be struggling with in your business? Well, that might that might be the biggest one is yeah. uh, getting the word out there. I find we have a lot of word of mouth now. Having been around for six years, we have a lot of satisfied clients who will tell people about their system. And if they happen to get word to the right person, we'll, we'll get a phone call saying, well, so-and-so who's friends with so-and-so said mm -hmm. they love their system so maybe we'd like one too that's still working for you that's um, good yeah and uh but other than that it's um yeah it's 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 getting those initial visits with people which i think is some people can't quite wrap their head around the uh, uh i guess the return on investment they think oh thirty-five thousand. that's a lot of money but well is that an upfront payment it that is they an have upfront to payment yeah. oh so they can't pay it but off there are them. there are ways to do it through a loan payment program mm -hmm. um the the company that supplies us with the uh solar panels has an agreement with one of the banks where they can uh kind of get a, it's similar to a car loan it's, yeah. but it's just on your solar panels so it, it all depends on that person's um credit rating and all that sort of thing too right mm -hmm. so there's no guarantees but there are lots of ways to to get that money up front to to yep. pay for the system yeah um so i think i think it's just it sounds like a big number to a lot of people mm -hmm. even even if you explain there, there are plenty of ways to get that cash it's mm -hmm. they don't always feel they want to put that burden on their uh on their household credit which yeah is fair exactly yeah. <laughs> and i'm also concerned about what happens if there's rule changes in the feed-in tariff program well, it's a 20-year contract, mm -hmm. so it's locked in for 20 years. So you're guaranteed they yeah. can't make that change. They're yeah. going to pay you that amount? Yeah, they, they review the price structure every year. Yeah. So, for example, right now under the, the MicroFit program, it's 38.4 cents per kilowatt hour generated. Mm -hmm. As of December, or sorry, January 1st, as of de January 1st, it will go down to 29 point something cents, yeah. which is about a 20, 25% drop in the price. We're not seeing that coming down in equipment yet, so I'm hoping that 
uh, next year the equipment prices will drop too, but there's no guarantee of that. So oh, so that five thousand dollars isn't guaranteed. It'll it'll drop down to about four thousand. Okay. But the price you sign up at is locked in for twenty years. Yeah. If someone decides they want to wait till twenty sixteen to apply, they're uh, they're going to be only getting about four thousand. Which means oh, so we got two uh, months. <laughs> it, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that so I've sense. been I've been getting contact with everyone who uh, who we've given estimates to this year and yeah. proposals and just reminding them that this deadline is coming. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the equipment over the twenty years, I can see that the pr- equipment price will probably come down, and then that yeah. tariff will come down as well, depending on supply and that's, and that's demand. how the program was structured. Yeah. However, currently they are bringing the uh, tariff price down in advance of the uh, product price coming down. Mm-hmm. Whereas in the past, as the product price drops, they drop the, the feed and tariff rate. So maybe they know something we don't about uh, cheaper solar panels coming up. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you never know. But uh, that hasn't been explained to uh, anyone in the industry yet, mm-hmm. or at least to the installers like, like us. But... Very good. Well, you've been very informative today. Oh, Do you have good. any advice for those thinking about starting their own business? Uh... Yes, do it. Just do it. I love it. <laughs> uh, there are lots of resources out there. Um, that the Small Business Center is a great resource. Yep. Uh, a lot of uh, freely available advice uh, you can get through there. Free and, advice. Yes. Yeah. Free advice. Free advice. And, uh, and they do have um, some programs which have a very small fee attached to them mm-hmm. if you need to know specifics on, on social media marketing or website, uh, the importance of a website or yeah. that sort of thing. But if, um, all in all, if you can't find a job, create your own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you've got an idea and uh, it's not already out there in a thousand places, it's probably there's probably a niche market for you. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you've got the the ambition to, like you asked me, what gets me up every morning, and it's it's just the the I guess the thrill of um, of, of helping people basically help the environment, but they're helping their pocketbook too. So if you've got some passion in your life that you want to say you have a love for animals or you have a love for <laughs> um, computers or whatever. There, there are lots of, uh, lots of ways, creative ways that you can, you can get involved in that industry. It doesn't have to be owning a pet shop or running an IT business. There, yes. there are lots of other ways you can. Creativity um, is the best part. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So where can we find out more information about you? Well, primarily our website, suntaptechnologies.com. Uh, that's the best place to, to go. And we've got lots of resources on the website, not just about uh, what our business does, but we've also got a couple of pages on um, on uh, the impacts of certain energy uses on our environment and other ways we can help mitigate the, uh, I guess, our, our footprint yes. <laughs> on the world. Um, and we've got uh, just some background info on how solar energy works from the ground up, like how we get the energy from the sun into our homes. It's, yes, absolutely. But, uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much, Michelle. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this episode. We are counting down to 100 episodes. And be sure to check us out, Londonpreneurs.ca or iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Also, check us out on Londonpreneurs.ca because I'll be launching soon an online store. You can find out more information and we'll see you next time.